Bonjour. So now that we've learned the comparative, we're going to learn one more way to compare things to each other, and that is called the superlative. The key difference, the superlative is used to compare three or more things to each other. So you can think of the word super at the beginning, that shows that it's even bigger than the comparative. This is where you're saying how one thing compares to every other thing like it in the world, three or more. So in English, we find examples of the superlative in sentences like French is the most beautiful language. You're not saying French is more beautiful than English. You're not comparing one to another. You're saying kind of like out of all the languages in the world, French is the most beautiful. Or another example, physics is the most difficult high school subject. You're not saying physics is more difficult than English. You're saying physics is the most difficult. And lastly, the killers are the best band. And of course, that's personal opinion, but I'm not saying the killers are better than this group or that group. I'm saying out of all of them, out of three or more, killers are the best band. So just a quick recap, the difference between the comparative and the superlative. Comparative compares two things. Superlative compares three or more things. And so if we want to take an example in the comparative and change it to the superlative, we can do it like this. So for example, we have Michael Phelps' is faster than Ryan Lochte. That's comparative because we have two things being directly compared. If we want to change that to the superlative, it becomes Michael Phelps is the fastest swimmer in the world. So now out of all of the swimmers out there, he's the fastest. And we see some differences in the sentence structure here in English that will actually really help us when we're learning it for French. So here we have the word than here, which we know in French means que, and we always need that for the comparative, but you can see it's missing here for the superlative. So we have our first clue that in the superlative, you won't need the word que. Also, our biggest second clue is that here, you don't say is the faster than, you just say is faster than, but here you have is the fastest swimmer in the world. And that will also help us a lot for our French, remembering that you need to have the before the description. Let's try another one. Instead of saying UCLA is better than USC, that's comparative because we have two things and we also have than here. It would become UCLA is the best school in Southern California. That's now the superlative because I have the word the before it. And also because now I'm saying out of all of them, UCLA is the best. So how do we form the superlative? You need the subject, the verb, and then either le or la. Sometimes it could be le for plural, but you usually see le or la more commonly. And then you either have plus or moins, and then adjective and then adverb. Okay? We don't have the word que for the superlative because we're not comparing two things. We're saying it's the most or the least and then whatever description you want. So the differences between the comparative, we don't have que. We put le and la at the beginning. And then you'll notice in the comparative we had three options. You could either say plus, moins, or aussi. But for the superlative, you can only have plus or moins, which makes sense when you think about it. Because if OC means as much or equal to, you can't say this class is the most equal to something else. It just doesn't make sense. You either need to say the most or the least. So let's check out an example. So from our first slide, if we want to say French is the most beautiful language, that would become le français est la plus belle langue. Because we have our subject here for la français. We have our verb is a. Le, la, it's right here, plus, moins, right here, and then our adjective or adverb, belle. And then sometimes you can repeat a little description like long. The key difference is that long refers to le français. This isn't a second thing that we're comparing. It all is talking about one thing, which in this case is the French language. So let's try another one. Physics is the most difficult high school subject. That would be la physique est la plus difficile sujet du lycée. Subject in high school. So we have la right before it, and then we chose plus, and then we chose our adjective. So we can see everything checks out for both of these examples. We have la before, plus or moins, and then we don't have que. Those are some key differences for the superlative. And of course we have some irregularities again, but just like in the comparative, we only have a limited amount of irregularities for the superlative. Also a little bonus that you have is that if you remember the irregular comparatives, you know that you just need to put le in front of them to become the superlative. So for example, you wouldn't say le plus bon, you say le meilleur. And you'll remember that for the comparative, instead of plus bon, you say meilleur. So it makes sense now you just add le in front of it like we do for the superlative. Instead of le plus mauvais, you just say le pire, 
Instead of le plus bien, you say le mieux. That means like the best. So for example, saying the killers are the best band would become les killers sont le meilleur groupe. Okay, so that's the best. I'm not saying meilleur que, I'm saying le meilleur. That means the best. So that's it for the superlative. Take notes on the few differences between the comparative and the superlative and start thinking about how these two operate when you're comparing things in English because this is one rare time where it actually will help you a lot for French to compare the English structure. So that's it. Let me know if you have any questions.